always keep people together. Our guest today, Mr. Young Diggy Anderson. Is that iced tea? Nope, it's lemonade. Is that iced tea? Lemonade. Iced tea. What's with these people, man? Lemonade. Read the sign. Lemonade. Read it. Okay. Delicious. Iced tea at a lemonade stand? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much money Marin saved by switching to Geico. It's lemonade, man. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Sitting here with my first guest on my second episode, WTF Food and Music, Mr. Diggy Anderson, or better known as Caden Amari Anderson. First of all, tell people where they can find you. Well, you can find me on the National Geico commercial with Ice T Z rapper and actor. Okay, so I gotta ask the question since you brought it up. Ice T, were you excited about working with him? Um, yes. I, um, when I, when I was there, um, and then I saw him, I'm like, um, I'm like, could I be on Mom <laughs> So you knew who he was, and Mom and Dad didn't have to explain who he was. No, they had to. Okay, I'm, so, I'm glad. I'm glad you kept it real. I appreciate that. <laughs> so my next question for you, Diggy. A lot of people think that parents push their cell, uh, push their kids into the acting or music business industry. What made you want to become an actor? What made me want to become an actor? I love TV. Okay. And um, and I was um, and when I was a baby, um, I didn't um, I didn't run around the house, crawling around the house, saying, "Can they get a bottle?" I I, I just sat on the couch watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> so you you, you was addicted baby. from TV from from the beginning. Yes. So those images captured you and. and pulled you right in. Yes. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. How did you feel when you first seen yourself on TV? When I, when I first did my Show Me a Hero commercial, I, I like when I saw these poodles, um, and then I, I was just amazed because um, um, I had a set mom. She was the best set mom ever. Okay, not, not, to, not to cut you off, but was she better than your real mom? No. Okay. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> Um, and the thing was that, um, but one thing I didn't like about it, I had to wear old school clothes. Oh <laughs> man, them old school clothes where everything was baggy, right? Yes. <laughs> and, um, and I had to wear like this sweater that I didn't really like. I, I didn't like my fashion. I would just like wearing jeans and, and my jeans. Comfortable, comfortable. Yes. Understood, understood. Or maybe some sweater. There you go. So if you could get any role, what would be your dream role as an actor? To be on Nickelodeon, starring as a superhero. Whoa, a and superhero! I'm meeting Jace Norman. He's an actor on Nickelodeon. Oh. That's right. I mean, I'm not stupid, but I am here. Hey, did you know that hot dogs aren't made of actual dogs? Okay. So, what would be your superpowers? My superpowers. Um, um, I can harness anything in the world. Whoa, that's deep. Now, what about being invisible? Come on, man, you gotta be invisible. Imagine the stuff you could do if you was invisible. Yeah, I would like to be invisible. <laughs> um, I would like to be invisible because um, I can just wake up um, early in the morning, um, sneak, um, sneak downstairs, there you go. and then I can maybe get some cheeses or something. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. Okay. So, audition after audition, everybody knows in this industry there's a lot of rejection. At eight years old, going on nine, how do you deal with the rejection? Well, you just gotta ignore. You um, you can't say, oh, um, somebody's over here talking about me, so I gotta, um, so I gotta start crying. You can't okay. say that. You just gotta ignore and keep. Okay. So you gotta yourself. have tough skin in this business. Mm -hmm. And you have to keep pushing yourself to do all this hard work. There you go. And speaking of hard work, I hear you're doing a lot of stuff right now. Yes. Uh, music lessons. Mm -hmm. Tell us about everything you're involved in, aside from acting. Um, I do dance, vocal. I do piano, I do karate, a lot of auditions, you're going to have to dance, sing, do all these stuff. Okay. Do you ever feel that you're doing too much? No. Okay. That's because good. Because you always have to push yourself. It's about hard work. There you go. And sometimes... Listen up, people. This is coming from an eight-year-old kid. Hard work. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's going to be, um, you have to, you have to work smarter. Some people say work harder. Um, and you have, and you do have to work hard. It's just that sometimes, like if you're an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. sometimes 
comes in life, you're going to have to work smart. There you go. That makes a lot of sense. And that sounds like a young man that knows what he's talking about. And I heard you mention that big word, entrepreneur. What do you know about being an entrepreneur? For a fact, I am actually an entrepreneur myself. Okay. Um, my dad's an entrepreneur. My okay, mom's which is a great example. Great yes. example. So, uh, Diggy, I like what you're talking about. Um, this is coming from an eight-year-old kid. So what we're talking about is a child actor who is dancing, singing, doing everything out there in the industry. What's next for Diggy? What's next? Um, what's next? I want to I wanna be like a real, not famous, but I want to be a real hard-working actor. Okay, so you want to be consistent working. Mm-hmm. I don't care about if people say, "Oh, Katie Mari Anderson's over there." Oh, I don't care about that. I just, I just wanna, I just wanna work hard. Good, good. You wanna put in the work. I understand that. So, uh, how do you feel about people reacting to you now that you have a national commercial and you know being on TV? How do people react when they see you? Um, it's nice, but I don't need it. Okay. I mean, um, I w- I want it, but I don't need it. Right, right. So you're humble though. Yes. All right, so if somebody comes up, wants to take a picture, you'll take a picture, give them an autograph? Yeah. Good, good. Because what that does is that inspires somebody else to say, you know what, I met that guy, and he's real cool. He's down to earth, and he's a regular kid. Mm-hmm. All right? So I got to ask you, speaking of regular kids, in school, do the kids in school treat you different? No, they treat me the same. So what advice would you give to any other child actors uh, coming into the business? I would say that if you want to become an actor, it's not about fame. It's not about popularity. It's about working hard and being consistent. Oh, I hope y'all listening. Is anybody listening? Can we rewind that? If you want to become an actor, it's not about fame. It's not about popularity. It's about working hard and being consistent. So with that being said, if you had to deal with one of the best directors in the business, who would you want to work with? I wanted to work with Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider, okay. Dan Schneider, I hope you're watching. <laughs> and why Dan Schneider? Because I love Nickelodeon. He's really funny. And um, um, and it will really entertain you. Um, get all your emotions out of your body. Um, and I like it in Dan Schneider because all the things that he wrote and direct, I, I, just, I just love it. Okay. That makes sense. So Dan Schneider, if you're listening, got a young actor right here. He's calling for you, all right? Um, so how are you doing in school? That should have been the first question. I apologize, everybody, because you got to stay in school. Yeah. you got to learn. Even if you're a working actor, there are tutors out there that go out with you on the road, mm-hmm. you know, your parents, and, and everybody makes sure that you get your, uh, uh, your education. So how are you doing in school? Um, fractions, I don't like fractions at all. <laughs> yes. um, I mean, I like... I don't think anybody likes fractions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like third um, third grade and fourth grade in math, but you just got to do it because if you don't have that, and then that means that in life, you're not going to be successful at all. Wow. Yeah, because somebody's going to be fractionally taking away your money or dividing mm-hmm. your money away from you, right? Mm-hmm. And then you're going to be like, um, like, if you go to the store and get some groceries and you just give them all the money that you have, then you'll be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Well, listen, we're going to take a small pause because I don't know about y'all, but my stomach's starting to bumble. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to get something to eat, man. We're here at Daisy's <laughs> Taste of Cuba food truck in Garwood, New Jersey. Yeah, so I'm I know you're hungry, brother, and so am I. Alright, uh what you want man? What you got today? Uh I'll get some French fries, uh chicken sandwich. Okay, anything to drink? No, uh, I'll get one. Okay, uh Freddie, I'm gonna have the uh, Cubano okay. and uh I'm gonna take some churros man. Um so, uh, I think I don't have the money man. Oh I got some money right here. I want that Donald Trump money. I want that Donald Trump, Donald Trump money. I want that Donald Trump money. All my life I need to get paid. Diggy, where you get that from? Yo, this must be Diggy's world. Damn. Trying to figure out ways. Rolling up and down the freeway. So I'm Dominique. I'm Caden's mom. I currently work in nonprofit. Um I do a, a, a variety of things in nonprofit. I'm actually, um, I know Caden said earlier that I'm training to be an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. I'm um 
I'm going to open my own nonprofit within the next year or so. Okay. Um, but in my free time, my fun thing that I'm really trying to explore right now is podcasting. I have a podcast with my friends. Um, What's it called? It's called Hella Queens. Okay. Where um, can they find you? Apple Podcasts and SoundCloud. We're on there. Um, so that's that's what I'm really like focusing on. Um, Diggy's World is number one. As you heard my husband say, he's the president of Diggy's World Entertainment. Um, we Yes, he's an actor, but he's also a brand. So we make sure that, you know, everything that Diggy does um, in acting and entertainment world, that um, it goes under his brand name. So we're making sure that we set him up for the future. Um, my name is Al Shakis. I go by Keys. I'm the father, uh, husband, Dominique, of course. Um, I run a mobile massage company and uh, obviously the president of Diggy's World Entertainment. I just want him to be a happy, successful kid, you know. Um, you know, we, we talk a little bit about college, of course, you know, especially we grew up in Newark, so. I Brick want City. Brick City, yes. So, <laughs> prime example, myself, I was one of the first to graduate from college from my neighborhood. So, to be able to pass that down to the next generation with Diggy, man, I just want to install greatness in him. You know, so in the future, you know, success with anything that he loves to do, whether it's eating, dancing, acting, you know, we tend to uh, engage that, manifest that, and put it out in the universe. All right, listen, where can we find Diggy and all of y'all information? But we'll start with the superstar in the middle. Uh, we, you can find me on Twitter. Um, that's one thing. You can find me on my vlog, Diggy's World. We got the shirt right here. On YouTube. We got a vlogger on YouTube, Diggy's World. Uh, following this young guy and his passion of um, acting. Um, we, I think that what we really like to do on our YouTube channel is that a lot of child actors and a lot of parents don't show you you know how they got there so we show you a little bit behind the scenes the and process, how the, the process, process of how we're getting the there exactly you always see the person who made it you never saw the trail of you know that whole obstacle course of taking them the so we, we like to show them um you know our view is that and what's going on with that we get a lot of rejections we go on hundreds and hundreds audition we might only get two yeses so you know everything is not a a constant um yes right. battle it's always a battle with that um, you can also find Diggy on um, Instagram at Diggy's World. Um, where else can we find Diggy? On YouTube, not YouTube. We say YouTube, Facebook. Um, we have a Facebook business uh, page at Diggy's World. Um, so yeah. All social media platforms you can oh. find Diggy's World. And uh, the man with the golden hands. Yeah. Where can we find your golden oh, man. hands? <laughs> one of the best in the world. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. I ain't talking yes. about karate, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, one of the best in the world. So we have I have a mobile massage company that's within New Jersey, New York, and Atlanta. Um, it's BWS Massage or Demand. So on Instagram with BWS underscore massage. You can find us on Facebook, BWS Massage or Demand, as well as Twitter and all other social media platforms. Yes. Okay. Well, listen, man, I'd like to thank y'all for coming out today. Uh, appreciate it's a it. Bless yeah. man. Diggy, I'm going to see you again. Up for six days, trying to figure out ways. Rolling up and down the freeway all my life. I need to get paid. I want that Donald Trump money. I want that Donald Trump, Donald Trump money. I want that Donald Trump money. All my life, I need to get paid. I've been up for six days, trying to figure out ways. Rolling up and down the freeway All my life I need to get paid I want that Donald Trump money